there are other factors here as well. It's not just the case of you adding a bedroom or, you know, turning into a HMO or whatever, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you think it's worth, it's what the surveyor thinks it's worth. And when you have a climate like you have currently, the surveyor is not favorable when it comes to valuations. The surveyor goes in and he looks at comparables, he finds the worst three comparable, then he goes, well, you know, I think it's worth this. When you do your calculations, you know, you, you base it around the averages that I think is, you know, something which is conservative, but around the averages, yeah. they go in and they, they literally find the cheapest three in the area, even though there might be in crap condition and so on and so on. And they pretty much say, yeah, I think it's worth around that much. And, yeah. but you know, if they're being, because obviously they want to be conservative because they don't want to say, they, they don't want to inflate in case, case the market crashes and so on and so on, like 2008, yeah. um, which is fine, which is understandable. I'm not crying about it, but I'm just saying that's just how it works. So you might think it's worth 450, but you know, property is not like the stock market. It, it's like, it, it is very, very subjective that it's, you send three surveyors, they'll give you three different answers. It is very, very subjective. So you say it's worth 450. I say it's worth 430. Surveyor thinks it's worth 425. Yeah. Right. So now you've lost 25 grand. But yeah. that's just how it is. Yeah. I think most people kind of think their house is worth more than it actually is as well. So that's another, you know, you might come across that when trying to buy properties from, say, just property owners that generally people feel like their property is worth more than it is. It's yeah. actually called, there's actually, there's a name for this. It's called, there's actually a bias, which is basically this, which is if you're trying to sell your car or something, yeah. you know, you, you think your car is worth more than the other, <laughs> <laughs> you know, crappy cars or whatever, or like you're trying to sell the house, you think it's worth more or, yeah. you know, you, for example, you try eBay something and you try and sell a camera and you're like, no, no, I think it might, <laughs> you know, it should be definitely worth 300. Everything else is selling for, you know, 50 quid. And you think it should be worth 300. There, there's actually a name for this that once you own something, you believe it's worth more than, um, you know, what anyone else would sort of value it as. So, it's, yeah, it's a bias. I can't remember what the name is. I've got a book somewhere. I'll check. I think it's called Wishful Seeing. Wishful Don't. Seeing. That's it. <laughs> yes. So, Ahmed, you know, in terms of your kind of future goals, what are, what are you planning on doing? You know, what is your, say, over the next 10 years? If you would like to find out Ahmed's future goals and listen to the rest of this podcast, then head over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and type in Luigi Newton. There you can find the full 40-minute podcast.